This little thing is absolutely incredible. Hey everyone, welcome to the channel, and today we're going to be checking out the Fly 3 Mini by Blackstar. So yes, as you all saw from the thumbnail, I'm going to be playing an actual arena with this little amp right here. And yes, I know what you're going to say, what and how is that even going to be possible? Let me explain. It's sort of yes and no. It's not going to be me in a 15k capacity arena, just sort of playing up on stage on my own with this little amp. So I'm actually taking part in the Uproar Foundation 1000 Lights event in Birmingham. So that's going to be happening at the Utility Arena on the 18th of August, where I'll be playing two Linkin Park songs alongside 1000 other musicians. And that's not all. Members of Bullet For My Valentine, Funeral For A Friend, Holding Absence and more are going to be there jamming alongside with us. This is to raise money for men's mental health awareness. So if you want to donate and support this awesome event, check out my link below. 100% of the proceeds go to charity, so it's a great cause to support. So why have I gone and bought the Fly 3 then? A lot of you guys will be saying, hey, that Nihilus guy's got a camper, what does he need that for? Yeah, I know, correct. However, for health and safety reasons at the venue, 300 guitar players can't just turn up with a load of amps and cables without it being a major health and safety issue. So we've all been encouraged by the organizers at Uproar to go and buy a little battery amp each so we can all plug in nice and neat, nice and tidy and avoid having wires absolutely everywhere and avoid these health and safety issues. Rules help control the fun. <laughs> so that said, the camper had to go out the window and I had to get something that's truly worthy of playing an arena. So that said, after seeing people like my good friend Matt the Riffmaster really enjoying Black Star products and, and this little amp right here, I thought I'd buy one, give it a go, and see what it's all about. So the Black Star Fly 3 is convenience at its absolute finest with its small sized and minimalist layout. You can literally take it anywhere and play. It comes with two channels as well as a tape delay effect which are found to be really fun to use. The amp kicks out 3 watts but don't be fooled, this thing is really loud. I've only managed to get it about a quarter of the way on here in my apartment without it being too loud. The Fly 3's also got an ISF EQ shaper for those of you who like to shape your tone, plus a line in so you can even plug your phone in and jam along to your favorite tracks. It takes six 9 volt batteries to get it going, which is a crazy amount, but there's also a DC input in the back so you can plug it into the mains if you want. However, that's obviously not what I'm going to be doing for the show. We need a battery powered amp and uh, a battery powered amp we have. Okay, so it's back to the dark ages now. I'm actually gonna mic this thing up and show you guys how it sounds. I can't believe I'm actually micing this up. Is this like the 1980s or something? Okay, let's start on a clean tone. Okay, I'm gonna turn some delay on. Let's see how that sounds. So that was with the EQ sort of like turn in the middle. I'm gonna start like messing around with it a little bit and just, just to find out what it does. And then if we turn it all the way back. I think with the ISF turned all the way back, it definitely uh, thins out the sound. So I'm just gonna push it back up. As a matter of fact, I kind of preferred it when it was a little bit more sort of like, you know, closer to being full way on. Okay, so now we're going to aim for more of sort of like a crunch tone, if you like. So not all the way up on the gain, just a little bit more crunchy. So let's give it a go. This is only on channel one, by the way, so we haven't turned the distortion on quite yet.
Okay, let's get channel two turned on and let's start turning up the gain. So this is with the gain turned literally about halfway on, so let's see how it sounds. <laughs> Not bad, hey, I like how you can hear like note clarity. It's not just like a big sea of gain or anything like that. Like in the middle of your accents, like the palm mutes don't turn to mush and then vice versa as well amongst all the sea of palm mutes and stuff like that, the accents. Like they really pop, so okay, let's uh let's turn the gain up. So I'm going to turn the ISF all the way off and I'm going to start bringing it up and I think um, when you turn it all the way off like it's a little bit more scooped or if you're sort of like in the, in the early stages of it but toward the back end it really starts like pushing the mid, mid range a little bit so let's give it a go. Yeah, that's uh, that's really thin sounding. So let's push the EQ, and uh, I think things will start to get a little bit more full body. <laughs> Okay, a little bit more. So like three quarters of the way on now. So there's a lot more bark, I think, in the uh, the more of the ISF you have on it, it gives it a little bit more of a, a mid-punch. Um, I don't think it's going to be any good, but let's try all the way on. Yeah, so I think the sweet spot for me is definitely further back. Thank you. 
So there you have it guys, the Black Star Fly 3 in all its portable and convenient glory. This is a fantastic little amplifier if you're planning on traveling around the place and going on trips. Black Star really took into consideration as well that people want nice guitar tones when they go away and not just noise and a, a flat sound. So the uh, the added little delay in there and the, the tone shaper, uh, really nice touches. I'd say this is a good purchase as well, motivationally speaking, because it's just so easy to plug in and turn on and get going. Sometimes firing up a fancy system like the camp or whatever kind of stands in the way of practicing and getting all set up. So just having this thing like lying around and the fact that you can literally just push one button and it turns on, you just plug into it and it, it's there and it's good to go. Um, it's really encouraged me to practice more and, and play more often. Or one might say you might be able to practice more on the fly, so to speak. So there you go guys, that's the video. I hope you enjoyed this little rundown of the Black Star Fly 3. As always, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you're new here, that's always greatly appreciated. And I guess until next time, I will see you guys in the next one. Take care guys, peace.